We're going to do some stretches for those of you who are hitting the slopes. It's ski season and uh, winter sports season, so if you're going out there, do these before you go out on the slopes in the morning. Okay, so you want to do a bit of a warm up first of all. Um, I'm not going to do that now, but if you spend about five minutes running up and down some flights of stairs, you could be just jogging on the spot. Um, yeah, anything that gets your blood pumping, gets your heart rate elevated. Then you're going to do some mobilizations. So let's start from the top and work our way down. So we're going to do some general spine mobilizations. So I want you just to look to the side and look to the other side. Go as far as you can and do about two or three in each direction. And then we're going to go up and down. And then we're going to go side to side. Now I'm going to whiz through these. You're welcome to stay and do more. If you've got particular tension or tightness in some part of your spine, do a few more of them. Maybe go up to five, even go up to ten. We're then going to go to the mid-back. Just swing your arms around, side to side. We're going to do that rotation of the spine. And then we're going to go side to side. So slide your hands down your thighs, towards the knees. And just do a few in each direction. Again, forward and back with the lumbar spine, so just reaching for your toes and bending backwards. Okay, going down to the hips and the knees and the ankles, really important for skiers. Put your hands on your knees, keep your feet together, and just kind of do some circles with your knees. This is really important because the knees are, are locked into place, especially if you're a skier with the ski boots. So, good idea to get them mobilized and minimize the risk of any injuries at all. Get the circles going bigger and bigger and bigger to bring in the hips and the ankles as well. Okay, next hands, interlace your fingers and just move them around in a kind of figure of eight position. So you're just kind of using one hand to roll the other one around and then you alternate each, each one. And then try to reverse the direction as well, if you've got really good coordination as well. And then hands on shoulders, and we're going to do big circles, gradually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Try 10 in each direction, so you're going to go back and then forward as well. Again, like I said, if you feel any of these movements cause any kind of pinching or twinging, stick, up, stick with them, decrease the amount of movement, drop it down a little bit and then gradually work it up. Okay. Next we're going to do our stretches, so we're going to get all the leg muscles nice and relaxed. And we're going to start first with the calves down here. So find a wall, place your hands on the wall. In this case I'm going to do my right leg first of all. Hands on the wall, feet in a semi-lunge position. Keep your heel on the ground, on the leg that you're stretching, this one in this case, on my leg. And keep the knee straight. Heel on the ground, lean into the wall and move forward, keeping that heel down. Temptation is for people to lift their heel. The second you lift your heel, it's not going to be working, so you've got to keep that down. Hold it for 25 to 30 seconds. I'm not going to do that now, but you'll do that. And then once you've done that, bring the foot closer, and then keep the heel down, bend the knee, and lean forward. There are two muscles underneath here, so you need to do both of them. Again, 25-30 seconds, swap sides, and then again, straight leg and bent leg, okay? 25-30 to 30 seconds. Next, we're going to do our quads. I use a wall, otherwise you might fall over. Hand on the wall, hold your foot, and try to bring your heel to your buttock. You want your body in a straight line. This won't work. You have to be nice and upright. So bring your knee back, heel to buttock, 25 to 30 seconds, swap sides. Okay, next is your hamstrings at the back of the thigh. For this one, if we're going to stretch the left hand side, we put our hands on the right leg and then bend this knee, keeping this other leg straight. Kind of stick your bum out, keep your chest upright. I feel the stretch, the back of the thigh, it's quite a, quite a good one, this one. I'll just turn around so you can see that on both sides. 
So remember your hands are leaning on the other leg, not the leg that you're stretching. And then you would swap sides and do the other one. Okay, I'm going to get down on my mat now to do some lower back stretches. First we do our glutes and lower back muscles. So you grab your knees and curl up into a ball as tight as you can. Tuck your head in. 30 seconds. Next we're going to do our glutes. So I'm going to do the right glute first. Get your left hand, grab the right knee and pull it towards you. First of all, so just straight up and then across. Most people, they'll just take their leg over to the side. This isn't really going to do much to your glutes. You need to pull it up first and then across. And you should feel it about here in the glute muscles. 30 seconds. Grab the other knee, so right hand to left knee, pull it towards you, and then across again until you feel the stretch, which is about there for me. 30 seconds again. Finally, on your tummy, and push up until you feel a stretch in your tummy muscles, as far as you can go really. 30 seconds. And finally, just in case you do use ski poles, you probably find that your forearms can get quite sore as well. So a great stretch for the forearms is to keep the arms straight, straight at the elbow, hold the back of the hand with the other hand, okay, not the fingers, but the hand just, distal, just um, further than the wrist, elbow locked straight, and pull the hand towards you in this position. You feel a real pull here. Um, obviously I haven't been skiing all day so I can do it quite easily. You might find it ache a lot more than that. So if you can only get to about here that's fine. But then gradually pulling it over the space of about 30 seconds. And then we want to do the other muscles underneath. So you just do the opposite. You're wrapping your fingers of the other hand around the palm of the hand that you're stretching or the forearm you're stretching. Again the elbow has to be locked out straight. Yeah, This is really important. And then pull it for about 30 seconds. And then you would do the other arm obviously as well. That's it. Happy skiing. Have a great holiday.